Hi, I'm Tom Edwards. I'm the Chief Digital Officer of the Agency Business at Epsilon. And today I'm going to talk about a product rollout that just hit for all Amazon Prime members called Amazon Spark. Amazon Spark is an interesting mashup of features that you would traditionally see on Pinterest, focused on, say, like product discovery and inspiration, combined with some of the UX elements of what we're, we traditionally see within Instagram. So Spark is available primarily for iPhone users now, sorry Android users, coming soon. But essentially the app works by showing a feed of experiences, which are essentially glorified reviews, but in any case, they essentially show different elements of products that Amazon then takes and scans through via image recognition that then can be clickable into those product areas. And it's an interesting play. You know, if you look at my previous video on artificial intelligence and computer vision and the role that it's gonna play in visual discovery specifically, you can begin to see Amazon's approach to, to deploying this in this instance. One of the other interesting elements tied to Spark is really around this idea that Amazon's traditionally been known for their, their personalization algorithms, essentially how their relevancy algorithms, essentially how when you go to the site, there's always relevant products. Traditionally, they've been based on regression models of how you know, your past purchasing behaviors, your viewing behaviors and browsing behaviors all kind of aggregate into one that then shows you relevant products. One of the pieces that's been missing though is really a lot of information that's created more from a, from, a, from a social perspective. So you think about Facebook's approach with the social graph and all of the other data elements that they were able to kind of derive and use as a foundation for building their advertising products. I feel with Amazon Spark, Amazon is laying the groundwork and foundation for their ability to then take and, uh, and add an additional layer of interactivity by adding social currency and different interactions into a user's experience by you know empowering people to become enthusiasts to then create content which by the way links into shoppable elements of of their site it's really taking and allowing the consumers to to carry the experiences forward and obviously we all know that when it comes to that whole continuum of trust people trust people more than brands so it's interesting to see Amazon taking this step forward with Amazon Spark. Traditionally, Amazon is really focused on product reviews as a primary way of allowing and empowering consumers to share experiences tied to, to products. Now, this is Amazon's first real approach into social commerce or socially driven commerce. So why, why now? So you're seeing a lot of activity coming from Amazon. You're seeing, you know, whether it's the acquisition of Whole Foods, whether it's the immense focus on voice-based experiences through expanding the footprint of Alexa voice services or the, the rollout of the Echo Show. So one of the things that's incredibly interesting here about Spark is, is it lays the foundation for new types of data exhaust to where they're basically, in my mind, they're setting up for the shift towards conversational commerce. Because what ends up happening right now, you think about Facebook and you think about Facebook Messenger. 2016 was the year of the chatbot. So one of the primary uses specifically tied to chatbot is customer service, creating kind of a seamless thread with a consumer, everything from tracking of a package to you know, refunds to different kind of touch points tied to the consumer. But most importantly, you can drive progressive profiling of an individual through these experiences. So there have been a number of kind of rumors out there that, that moving forward, there's going to be some type of messaging platform specifically for Amazon. And this would make a lot of sense because you look at all of the key players. You look at you look at uh, you look at Facebook with Messenger. You look at Line. You look at uh, WeChat. And you look at a number of these other ones. Commerce within those specific entities is a core driver. You know, we conducted some proprietary research back uh, back in 2016, talking about the shift from social media to social messaging. And from a consumer standpoint, there was a lot, of, a lot of excitement around convenience, around being able to connect with the brand in a one-to-one -one fashion so that you can actually facilitate an entire uh, discussion without having to do it publicly, say, via customer service, via Twitter, or by actually picking up the phone. So in conclusion, from a marketing perspective, it's going to be interesting to see how the actual uptake from quote unquote enthusiasts is going to be in terms of the actual usage. So right now, again, it's only for Prime members, which is 
a lot of Amazon's user base at this point. And it's going to be interesting to see how it's how the adoption, the type of content that's actually created, and then most importantly, how accurate the image recognition is going to be in terms of making those images shoppable. So then from a brand perspective, you know, is there going to be a new model tied to this type of content? And as we've seen with other platforms, specifically tied to UGC, the role of influencers or enthusiasts moving forward. Are there, I'm sure that we're going to see the rise of certain power reviewers within the site who are creating experiences, making it shoppable. Traditionally, the way in which influencers have monetized through Amazon is more through the affiliate links and the programs that are tied to it. Now there's a potential opportunity to directly tie experiences into driving purchase. That's it for today's video. So as always, you can find me at blackfin360.com. You can follow me on Twitter at, at blackfin360. Or you can find me on Alexa by just enabling the Blackfin 360 skill and saying, hey Alexa, open Blackfin 360. Have a great day.